Hi everybody, it's Erica at Discount Fabric Warehouse Kauai, and I wanted to show you how to make a pot holder completely in the hoop. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your backing fabric and place that in the hoop. And then you have a layer of Insulbrite and a layer of Warm and Natural Batting, and then the top of your pot holder. So you're gonna place that kind of right even in your hoop, okay, and then you're gonna put it on the machine. The first thing that you're going to do is a tack down stitch. It's going to go around the edge of the fabric to hold everything in place. Now because we're so thick here though, we're going to want to go into our machine, into our settings here, and you're going to tell the embroidery machine to put the presser foot a little bit higher so that it doesn't get caught. So I go up to 1.0 and then just say okay. And we're going to advance forward to the first stitch of our outline. That way I can make sure that my fabric is exactly in line where I want it to be. Okay, I'm gonna put my presser foot down. And one more thing that you actually wanna do, go into your settings, and you're gonna to wanna to slow your machine down because this part is very important. You might wanna go down to like 500 because you're gonna have your hands here, so you wanna just be careful as you're doing this. Okay, so what we're gonna do is start sewing, and it's gonna tack everything into the hoop for us. making sure that it's tacking it all down. Oh, my thread broke. That's okay. We're gonna just say, okay, we're gonna go and re-thread this machine. How many times has that happened to you? <laughs> but luckily we have these wonderful needle threaders. Okay. All right. And I can back up if just a little bit, maybe 10 stitches. There we go. And we're gonna continue on here. This tack down is really important because then you don't have to stay by your machine while it's doing the quilting pattern. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is go back to my adjustments on my machine. And you can see it's gonna do this nice florally pattern. I'm gonna go back to my settings. I'm gonna speed it back up and I'm gonna change the presser foot height back to the default setting. Because when it's stitching the rest, you wanna have a good tension and that will do it for you. Okay, and then we're gonna go up to the actual quilting pattern. We're gonna go ahead and start the stitching process. And we'll just let that go. It's gonna be about 14 minutes or so. And we can go and cut out another piece of fabric. Okay, so our embroidery has finished. So we're gonna pull the hoop off. You can take it out of the hoop here. And what you're gonna do now, now that you've got a finished pot holder, you can trim it up on the edge, about one inch, and then you'll be able to fold that as a self bind to finish it off or just square it off and put your own binding on. Super fast and easy project on your embroidery machine. Have fun sewing!